Hey everyone, Jaced for Whiff Detective's Office by Lego Creator. Set number 10246 contains 2262 pieces. Recommended building ages are 16 and up. Here we have the Detective's Office. On the right hand side, it looks like we have a barber shop with maybe a few apartments on the upper levels. Set does come with six minifigures. So here we have the detective, a policewoman, the pool player, barber, a lady, and a gentleman. In addition, a small kitten and a brick separator. This does come in handy when constructing the detective's office. As you may already have noticed, it is missing a part right here. Upon completing this set, I was missing two pieces, so I had contacted LEGO and about to get my replacement pieces for this set. Here's the rear, except for this mud color. It's finished off in the back. Really nice. Here on the bottom left we have what appears to be an escape hatch possibly for the kids to escape the barber shop before they get their bowl cut. Nice water tower. Here we have a sign. It is constructed with bricks, plates, and flat tiles. Here we have a newspaper stand. This does open up. There's a few extra newspapers inside. All the bricks with graphics are printed. Now, let's take a closer look at each of the floors. On the left, we have the pool hall. I like the ceiling fan. It does actually spin. Here we have a trophy case with an escape hatch. So this does slide to hide the escape hatch. Great for those raids. Nice large windows. Got a spot for the cue sticks. On this side we have Al's Barber Shop. Where all the kids come to get their bowl cuts. There's a few wigs in the front. We have one that has flippy hair and one that has a bowl cut. So that must be Al's specialty. Here we have a reflective mirror and the barber's chair. In the back, we have a cabinet to hold some of the goods. This ladder does slide out of the way. This does open up so we can go out the escape hatch. In addition, this portion of the staircase can be removed. even have a barrel inside as well. I believe it's full of some treats for the criminals to hide in. It does snap back in pretty easily. It is got a lot of detail and both of these first two rooms of the first floor. There's a close-up of the newspaper holder. It's easily closable.
Here we have the detective's office. Lots of detail inside. Here we have the detective's desk. Filing cabinet with a small table fan. Looks like this is possibly a small stove. Got a hat rack. Here we have a painting. It does reveal a safe. Looks like he's been storing his love letters in there. Here we have a fire escape. This ladder actually does drop down to the first level. Just lift this mechanism up and the ladder comes crashing down. Let's see if I can bring that back up. Yep, it does go up. It's hard to do this with one hand though. But you get the idea. Here we have what appears to be a small apartment. Or maybe it's just a bathroom. With a toilet and sink. The size of that bathroom is about the size you'd find in an RV. Not a whole lot of space for a landing. Here's a close-up of the sign. Finally, the third floor. On the left we do have roof access with a close-up of the water tower and a skylight. The porch light. Here's inside the small apartment. The trash can. Table with some cookies. And a little kitchenette. We even have a clock as well. Not a whole lot of floor space. So the apartment is a bit on the cramped side. Here's the final portion of the roof with the missing piece. This takes some time to get to persuade that to go on. Not a whole lot of excitement on the top, but it does keep the rain out. That's what's important. We don't want the kids with the bowl cuts getting their new fresh cut all wet and stuff like that. <laughs> this is truly one nice set. I highly recommend it for any Lego builder. Not only to put in a Lego city, but as a source for spare parts. It has some great parts to make a lot of mocks. Especially these blues and the medium nougat bricks. It is a must-have. Any Lego builder. Thank you for watching.